Hey guys, my name is Cineac and welcome to what potentially could become a new series only if you guys enjoy it called Store Empire. Now, if you know Retail Tycoon, you've played Retail Tycoon, then you're going to love this game. This game is basically kind of like Retail Tycoon, but with so many more things added to it. So many more things we can buy and do in this game. We're going to build the ultimate supermarket the world has ever seen. So if you guys enjoy this and want me to turn this into a series and want to see more of it, then one, smash that like button down below. Two, leave a comment saying, Sediac, you damn fool. Play some more. And we're, did you see that? It was pretty smooth there. But I say, Sediac, play some more. We'll just, we'll do some more. That was so damn smooth. That was so damn smooth. And uh, together, together, boys. Your boys got that cash money moolah. We can get that sweet cash money moolah. So this is Store Empire. And the first thing I do is just go through the tutorial. It says the first thing you need to do is place some shelves. Customers can't pay you if you have nothing to sell, which is so damn right. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do some stuff. Okay, right, so how do I do this? So we're first gonna click on the build button. Oh, this is looking pretty dope already. Go to shelves. Oh, okay, this is looking really, really good. So we've got shelf. We've got a standard shelf here we can go and buy. And do I, do I place this in? Oh, I go in. My, oh, my. Oh, this is a map. Whoa, look at the size of that dude's store over there. He's got so much stuff he's placing down. This makes me so freaking excited of what is possible in this game. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy is ready. Right, so let's rotate. And uh, where do we drop this down? Should we just place it in the corner or something like that? I think I'm just going to place it there. Right, place two of these bad boys. Boom. I like the sound effects. It's like, it's like, pew, pew. Zodiac, you did it, boy. JJ, everybody. JJ. Right, it's now time to order inventory so you can have product to fill these shelves. We're going to order two different types of items to fill these two shelves with because customers love variety. Var variety. I can't even English right now. Right, click on the inventory button. And this is where we get to buy stuff. So check out this scroll bar. Let's choose how many items you want to order. Uh, adjust the scroll bar so you have 25. Okay. So boom. Boom. How do I have 25? Ah, there we go. We got to slide it. Sweet. So we can buy. Wow. I'm looking at all the stuff we can buy. There's a lot of different stuff than usual. Okay. Find the candy item, which is here. You kind of can't see because my face is over it. If I do this. Boom. There we go. Candy item is right here. So you can buy 25 of those. Excellent. You now have uh, the same for the stuffed toys. Order 25 of them. So the candies cost $10 each to buy. And we sell them for 20. The stuffed toys cost 15 and we sell them for 30. We're doubling our money on each and every single one, which is pretty cool. Now that you have these products to put up on the two shafts, let's fill them. Right, sweet. What, what do I do? Close the imagery screen. Nice. Right, we got this, boys. We got this. So, to fill a shelf, we must use the stock tool. So, kaboom. Uh, empty. We're going to select stuffed toys on this one. Right? Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a little bit too far ahead of myself. Right. Stuffed toys on that one. And then this one. Candy, boys. C -c -c candy. Right. Uh, okay. We've done it. We've done it. Now, the customers are ready to spend money in your store. But you need a cash register. Of course we do. We need that cash register to get that sweet cash money molar. That's what we got to do, boys. Open up the build menu again. Okay, we got this. And um, again, it's kind of hard to see because the boys are kind of in the way. But uh, go to the utilities, which is here. Get a cash register, which costs a thousand. Oh my goodness me, this is huge. Right, how do how, can we rotate? We can rotate, but we, we've got to go. Which is the way we kind of place this down? Is it like this? Should I place it over here in the corner? Would that be the best? Is that, is that the best option for us? Right, let's place it there. Good, but you still need uh, a cashier to main uh, to man this cash register. Hi, okay, we get to hire people. Right, workers, cash. We can hire a custodian. What's that? Lumber worker. Wait. I noticed there was loads of wood around the building. Can you hire a lumber worker to kind of start chopping down the wood? That's actually pretty dope, isn't it? Right now, we get to open the store. So you completed a basic tutorial. Be sure to keep your shelves full by placing more and um, placing more and filling them up with different items. Also, lucky to place floors, walls, and ceilings. Sweet, got this, guys. 
We're building our own store right now. This is amazing. So look at this. It's a purely little square. That dude has got a huge store in the go right now. That, dude, that store's looking pretty crazy. We got people walking around our store right now. It is amazing. There's a bit of garbage on the floor. Oh, it beeped. I heard a beep and a boop and a bop. Oh, can I hear another beep, please? Oh, <laughs> it's just so cool, isn't it? Is this trash that I got to clean up? I don't quite know how I do it, but I'm getting money. I'm getting some good money. We got 4,500 in the bank saved up right now. So should I uh, buy some more shelves? Let's go to build again and go to shelves here. So we, we, we can actually build or get one more shelf of this. We have one more item available. Right, so place that down because I, I believe I've got to stock. We can place on this um, kitchenware. So my store has to level up. Oh my god, we have to level up the store to unlock new things. That is so dope. Well, I can get kitchenware on it. So let's um, go to the inventory. Let's buy 25 kitchen wares. 25 kitchen wares. And uh, let's go to the... Uh, I, I forget we're going, how we got to do this now. Because it's so different to a retail tycoon. I'm having to understand the new mechanics and stuff like that. But that is dope. Oh! Those shelves don't match. But I suppose they, they get they look a little bit different depending on what you're putting on it, I suppose. But we now got kitchenwares, which is pretty dope. So now we can sell even more things. This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead. So, oh, we can speed the Roonies. Nice. So, um, right, let's. I don't want to close the store, but you can see that, that that dude has got. Whoa, look at this dude place over here. This dude's place is literally so. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't look amazing. It looks crazy and all over the place, but it looks so dope. That's why I need, I, I want to store that big eventually. It's going to be amazing. Right, so we close. We, 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 wait, that dude didn't buy anything. I'm going home. No. Um, we, we've almost got 4,000 again. So we spent a little bit of money. We've almost got 4,000. So let's see what we can get next. So do we, do we buy a ball shelf? Carries lots of sports balls. It's 700 to buy. Or should I get the produce shelf? Let's get the produce shelf here. It's only $500. So is that dude really much make a mess? It's only $500. So we're not spending that much money on this. Um, I'll place it there. Close up. Do I need to hire a cleaner? Manage. Workers. Um, what is this? Goes around your store. Oh, a custodian is goes around your store and clean up the garbage on the floor. Can we just call them a, like a janitor or a cleaner? Never even heard of that word in my life. Amazing. Right, what goes onto this shelf then? So, right now. Wait, inventory. No. I'm trying to stock and click on it. Oh, you got to click on this, not the actual name tag. Apples and bananas. Gotcha. All right, inventory. Um, okay, we'll go for 25 of bananas. Boy. Right, let's get rid of that. Stock. 25 of bananas being thrown down there right now. That's amazing. We're running low on candy and stuff as well. So, I, wow, look at it. So we've been, this game is amazing. This is this is like Retail Tycoon 2.0. Like, imagine like just getting Retail Tycoon and then updating the game. This is what this game is. <laughs> That's what it, it's like, you know, Lumber Tycoon. Everybody knows what's in Lumber Tycoon because it hasn't updated in years. And I feel like Retail Tycoon's the same. When's the last time it had like new content, like new items to buy? Ages, mate. This game is beautiful. Right. Um, back to the inventory then. So I need to buy some more candy. And we need to stock the shelves with more candy. Nice. And we could do with some more stuffed toys as well. So we are spending lots of money, but we should make all that money back eventually. So um, this goes for stuffed toys. All right, we got a lot of stock in it. We need to clean up the store. Okay, I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna hire a manager. Workers, not a manager, a custodian, a janitor. Boom, hired one. Is he now gonna come inside and, and clean up? Is it this dude here in the red? I mean, I can pick up trash myself. Oh, it's this dude with the beard right now. He's going around and doing it. So, I don't know if I'm making enough money to make sure that we can afford to pay both of our workers. But we're going to give it a good go. So, it seems to be working out pretty sweet, mate. Seems to be working out pretty sweet. We're getting the beeps and the boops and the bops right now. Which is killing the game. Um, we've got three, nearly 3,500. 
So with all this stuff, once we sell it, we should have like close to 5,000, hopefully. So um, do you want us to keep investing the money in buying new stuff? What's all this manage stuff down here again? So we've got manage, parking. So I can upgrade the parking. Don't feel like I need to do that just yet because I don't have, you know, if I start getting tons of more customers, I don't have enough stuff to, uh, you know, to for them to buy. Levels, these are levels. So the next level, these are my rewards. There's bananas there. I'm not sure what it is, what it means. Um, I think we unlock a new part of land on the next level, maybe. Or requirements to go to the next level, we need to... Well, I don't I don't really quite know about that. That's kind of a weird one, isn't it? It says rewards apples, unless... Hmm. I don't fully understand the reward system, but hey-ho. Uh, we have the ability to start painting stuff, which is amazing, so we can color scheme everything. Uh, buying land. There is so much land to buy. This is amazing. Uh, right, let's get out of the manage then. So how are we doing, boys? Are we doing good? We've got nearly 4,000 again. So stock levels are pretty solid. So let's buy something else. So let's go for something that's going to make us a bit extra cash. Let's go for a cooler shelf. And uh, let's put this right in the corner just there. And let's go for a ball shelf as well. So I feel like I can place it there. Because there's a, there's a big gap there to get to that shelf. And we're doing another produce shelf as well to get some apples down. So that is a lot of stuff now that I can start selling things on. So once I got these down, I'll kind of check out the other stuff we can then buy. Get these fully stocked because it's going to cost us an arm and a leg. So what can I get into these? So beach balls or bouncy balls. Okay. We've got apples going to go into that one. And this over here, milk or juice. Interesting. So pretty much... Um, I'm going to now buy some more candy, some more bananas, some more stuffed toys, some more kitchenware. Spending a lot of money right now, but your boy kind of needs it. We're going to get some juice, fill up that there. So that's kind of almost, well, that's nearly maxed out, I think, anyway. We'll go with beach balls. We've got enough money for that. Okay, no, we're running out of um, space there. So let's stock this all back up then. So the kitchenware, throw it all on. Stuffed toys. Candy! Right. Bananas. Juicer. Got it, got it, got it. Right, inventory again. So we need to buy some um, apples this time. And some beach balls. So that means now if I go to the stock. And then place down the apples! Oh, we got some green apples and some red apples. That's amazing. Right, beach balls as well. And that is everything now. Fully stocked up. I don't think I got, I got like a few extra little kitchen words I can drop down. Um, we got four, four remaining for that, but we'll leave it like that. That's that's pretty dope, right? We got okay, so we're down to five hundred dollars right now, but we have literally maxed out all the shelves that we have. Almost we don't have you know the full inventory, but everyone can keep making some sweet money. So that person's got five items. How much are they going to give us after they've bought those five items? Let's find out. So beeps, 110 smackaronis. That's crazy. That's some serious cash money moon eye right there. I'm very impressed. Very impressed, boy. Right, okay. So we're doing good. We're closing now. What's this VVV up here? Oh, it oh, brings up our net worth. Our customers are income per month. That's freaking genius. I want to have that there all the time. So we've got nine customers, eight customers. Nice. Our net worth is nearly 6,000. Ooh, could we like, you know, eventually become like a multi-millionaire? That would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, boy, mate. Wait, is, that just, is my net worth going down? No! I think my net worth goes down because I'm selling stuff, so it's like class that I don't own it no more. I think that's how it's working. Um, right, build then. What else have we got that we could kind of get? There's decor stuff. We can get like a plain bench. We could get some different flooring, which is pretty cool. Utilities, we can get a desk for managers, we get a storage rack to increase our storage, the standard stuff. But there is so much other cool stuff, you kind of can't see. Let me move myself again. Woohoo! Look at all this stuff when we like rank up the store. Like shelves, there is so many different type of shelving, which is going to mean one thing. There is so many items we can sell. Utilities, a self uh, scan register, uh, like a self checkout. Uh, candy dispensers, gumball machines, a sawmill. What's sawmill for? Is that for like all these trees? We can also create our very own lumber tycoon kind of scenario. We've got different types of walls, which 
only the fancy ones are locked at the minute. But that's good though. We can start upgrading a lot of stuff. We can do normal and tall as well. That's pretty sweet. Uh, decor. There's metal benches. There's plants. There's trees and fountains. And there's all different. Wow, there's so many different types of floors as well. Right, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. We are we're legit going to have a lot of fun with this. So, okay. Right. Righty. Right. So we're making quite a good chunk of cash right now. We are making quite a good chunk of cash. So I could do some upgrades, bring in some extra customers. But I feel like we're just ticking along quite nicely. I just use the money at the moment to upgrade the store a little bit. Um, or should we actually should we actually just upgrade the parking by one? Right, boom. I've upgraded the parking by one so we can extra some extra spaces to bring more peeps in. So more and more people are now coming. This is actually we're gonna wow, okay. So we've got five customers at the moment. I think the most I've seen is nine at one point. We've bought an extra parking space. Um, but nobody's turning up right now, guys. Oh, there's more people coming. We got seven now. So I think it's all down to luck how many people get out of your car. I think we just had two cars with one person in. So it doesn't feel like we got that many. It doesn't, does it? Um, right, what should I buy next then? Sh should I buy more stock? I feel like we, we, we're okay for just a moment. Or are we not okay? Let's go stock levels. Candy's looking low. Okay, we're going to have to buy some more inventory then. So let's, uh, let's change your boy over here so we can see what we're doing. So let's buy some more candy. Let's get some more juice, just in case. We'll buy some more bananas, more banapples. <laughs> um, okay, right. All right, let's keep it like that because we're running out of money again. So let's stock all this stuff up. So bananas, banapples, uh, bacandies, bajuicy. <laughs> Uh, that's good. So we're pretty much all back, back to being stocked up again. We still have a lot of items. Um, free. So we have some stuff left in our inventory still to kind of place into the shelves. But we're looking for... Wow, we got 11 customers right now. That's amazing. That's amazing. So is this to the point where I add in an additional, what, like, checkout maybe? I feel like I need to expand for that. But to expand... Yeah, I could maybe afford to expand if I bought more land, like the next one, 2k. But I then need money to build the walls, build the extra stuff. So you probably need about 5,000 before you buy an extra tile. Just so you can buy the land and then put everything on that tile that you want to do. But maybe that's something that we'll do over time as we progress. If you guys want to see more of this in the future. That would be kind of dope, wouldn't it? It would be. Right, we've got 10 customers now at this point. They're all doing the beeps and the boops and the bops. We're getting the monies for days. Is there a way that we can see, like, um, statistics on the shop? What's this here? Shop. Oh, is that game passes and stuff like that? Oh, you can get cars and school buses and medieval items and play table tennis. That's quite cool, isn't it? Uh, is that way we can find out, like, the rating of our store? Like, uh, it doesn't retail tycoon? I'm not too sure what this game is bringing because this game is in beta. It's very, very early access. So there's a lot still to come in this game, which I'm quite excited to see what's going to be happening on this. Your boy's pretty excited. Um, looking good though, we got over a thousand again. I feel like it's it's quite it's quite smooth, quite easy to make money. But I really want to know what happens with this. I bet you we buy a land, and then we've got to buy the dude to chop down the lumber stuff if you go to the workers. Like um, requires the sawmill utility and converse. Uh, raw lumber that you order into prepared lumber desired to auto read. I'm not sure. It's weird because you have this whole. Oh, we've actually upgraded our cashier to level two, and now, yeah, now he's getting more money. So you have this whole element of building a store, a beautiful store, and it's amazing. But then there's that side where you can have like a lumber business on the side. I'm not sure if that's like a hint to the future where there's going to be other types of businesses that we can also have set up. But it, it's it's interesting. I, I'm really excited about this. So I think we'll end it for here anyway today, guys, then. So we've done the tutorial. We've done the basics. We've got the basics set up. Our store's working. We're making profit. And we're not that far off now buying an extra piece of land. So I think if you want to see more, guys, let me know. Smash the like button down below. Let me know in the comment section, too, to simply say, Sediac, you damn fool. Play some more, and we'll do just that. Guys, it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty fun. We could create a huge megastore from this. 
So again, guys, until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye. Listen.